Salutations. This is another uh, journal entry from 2006, I believe. I just found this. Uh, looking for my wallet. So. From what little we can recall, this is how we came here. We used the properties of light and we altered the way we view reality. In the waters, we place several charged particles and over time, energy oscillated in the waters. The energy grows and takes form. And as long as the particles are in the waters, the more they change through growth in time. And I have this stuff drawn here. Light and then light breaking up in the abyss and then the two Cisca Pisces make light. The ascending pentagram to the lower pentagram which is a temple working grid. Uh, but that orients consciousness to go down to the abyss um, also orients you above the abyss up here but anyway then down here is the seeming lower pentagram but it's actually just half of a unicursal hexagram most things are altered by the angle at which you perceive them but uh, then it's written this is, must be from when I was on the train from Portland. Either back and forth. I went back and forth. Um, that was when I, I shaved myself in half. Being split over everything. <laughs> uh, I am a man on a train. A boy staring eye to eye with himself. And behind my eyes, I see the world go by. I notice my half-shaving head less and the passing cars on the highway more. Though even as I identify with them, they are gone. I am ever changing. If the world could see what I see, maybe they wouldn't fear death so much. Even though the striving will of the dead is greater than the will of life, I know in my heart life is the ultimate. Life is the battle worth fighting for, worth living for. I suppose I'm guilty for all this. If this is my sentence, I ask for no plea bargain. I know not to look behind and expect to see her coming. Shit rolls downhill and adds up at the bottom. She chose to be where she is, and all the desire in the world won't change it. Maybe now I can move on to the next stage. The one she knew I would eventually have to take. She knew all the while what to do. That's why. I thought she'd break the rules one last time. I never even spoke to her. I'm a ghost who haunts old places where no one goes. I'm reflections and lights. I am the moon half lit. I am buildings full of sleeping people, and I am empty warehouses. I am skyscrapers in the distant, and I am steam that rises from the factories. I am tired and dirty, and I am lonely. I am scared of something, but I can't be sure of what I of what it is. I am vulnerable, and I am open. I am listening to hear you tap on your jar. We are all of these things and so much more. We are wrapped and combined in a body. This body is always omnipresent, omnipotent, and without judgment. All the pieces, the eyes, all divide all are fragments of our whole what i fear is the truth of how awesome we are
We know the individual parts cannot grasp us, but we can do little to console the scared, besides dividing up more to show smaller pieces. There's two dates here, 12-11-06 at 12-9, and then it says, oh, on the train, must have been 10 9 6 I started this entry on 10 9 6 This is now probably 12-11, so December 11th, 06. So I wrote that in this, uh, no, never mind, never mind, page, started this whole entry, but, uh, Oh, the military kid just brought me a new pen. Gotta love that. Ba -ba -ba. Scanner darkly reminded me. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. That's what this is about. Then. I'm in a weird way. My addiction may have been a distraction to keep my mind off of other things. Not smoking pot really clears my head. <laughs> Being stuck on a train is probably the only time I didn't smoke consecutively. I woke up. Here and now I am fields of snow. They're not nearly as snowy as earlier. We would like to note that in Pittsburgh there was a movie playing at the train station. It was Conan, the one with the Snake King. It brought me way back to see that. It made me think about how easy my journey has been so far in my life. <laughs> Thank Crom for not inking my destiny the way he inked Conan's. <laughs> Conan the Barbarian. Holy shit. I am hungry, deer, in a snowy field again. I am a bridge over frozen water. I am the water that breaks through the ice. I am a waterfall. I am in the distance, and I am a boy's face reflecting off this glass. I am a river frozen by cold. I am also, as well, a farm and all the equipment there. I am a small town in the middle of America. I am a cow, an empty rodeo, a red truck. I am the railroad tracks, and I am the road that runs beside it. I am forever coming and going. At the train station in Malta, I can see a road sign pointing to a Lewistown. And I was just thinking how far I've gotten. <laughs> yeah, my town, my hometown's Lewistown. I've seen, I've seen, I saw a lot of them. Can't help but wonder how everyone is. I know Becky must be upset being so close to Malin's birthday, death. This is also the anniversary of my falling away from her. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This isn't how I'd like to console, but I had to leave town. I had to go back to Portland, 18 hours or so until I'm on the new path. Getting over it was never my favorite part. Now I'm moving on, so strung out. I'm on the road again, and for now I'm alone. Yet when I get to where I'm going, I won't be. I'm on the verge, I'm over the edge, I'm on the verge of going over the ledge beyond the edge, can't be sure of what's below, still I gotta go, my mind's made up, no thinking to it, I do what I gotta do or else I forfeit, I awake from a dream, 8.30pm, some kind of new death, People captured and returned. People gaining powers. One kid could break and control glass or mirrors. 
we were listening to Vintage Trace, but we were further out than I ever was before. Bedroom filled with rainbow lights and a flower door. Girl just wants to get high. JD is there. I explained to him how I can't peek all day. Just if all of us peek together. I'm either really fucked up or gravity works against me as I go toward the door. I vaguely recall a long hallway like the train. Uh, 2, 2 a.m. Another dream. I destroy a military base. I was a Chinese woman. I had friends who helped. We flew a plane out of the base. It was amphibious. I switched characters a few times. There is a landing zone and mining going on there. The military was close to tearing down an entire mountain that we found out was filled with silver. Not just silver. Lunar gold. The bedrock is pure, but... The whole of it is going back to the earth. A mountainside was falling into the mantle. After the plane landed, I was her again. The mafia had set me up somehow to kill my boss and family and make it all look like an accident. But I exposed them all. <laughs> I survived long enough until the rest of me arrived. It's hard to explain it any other way than now. I also recall being in an apartment. Familiar Chinese family, though I'm a guest. They keep trying to get me to hate a boy over cigarettes or something. I have memories in the dream. Now I can only recall what I saw. Sigs, meat in the kitchen, a man puking downstairs. Or upstairs. I tell them I won't ever judge their boy. He's my friend and confident in the house. <laughs> I want to eat, but the puking man deters me. I remember telling the guard who survived the attack of the base I was sorry. He was a little more than angry, and he tried to destroy our amphibious plane. That is why during our flight over... Oh, spun it around and flew it backwards. For some reason, that made it harder for him to lock onto us, and we flew away. Oh, so I flew the plane upside down and backwards to avoid being locked onto <laughs> by this guy. That's how you avoid detection. You you reverse your thoughts patterns. You 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 hide from not not from your shadow, but from your ego, for it more like it. So, that's probably why I was flying. That's probably what that. I mean, whatever. 3:52 a.m., 12:12:06. I'm awake on the train. Sleep is hardly an option. I'm tired, but I can't stay under. I'll probably get to Mike's and sleep for days. Hell, if I had buds, I'd fall asleep for sure. But no, I don't need anything. Three days in the underworld. Oh. This was the train rug where I didn't take any drugs with me at all on the train. I, ha I might have had like a sub or something. But... Three days in the underworld. Like Mercury, I hide for three days behind the sun. Shall change? She'll change so suddenly. Oh, it's, I think it's a song quote. I am a half fuzzy moon high in the sky. And I am the dark, dark night. I am clouds strangling my former bright self. I am a town hidden behind the reflection of a familiar face. I am the reflection as I am that which perceives it. A woman boarded the train an hour ago and she is all worries. She missed a stop on her last train and now she is so scared she'll do it again. Oh no. She also worried the train was on fire. The heaters make a burnt rubber smell when they turn on. Also, I jumped off to get a soda and this little boy called me Dada. I told him nah, but I would have been happy to be his dad. A dad. Wait, did I say that? Shit. <laughs> Dream 7.01am. 
12 12 06. I have to clean the house for some reason. Parts or machines are broken and others are being used like mechanical baskets. Blankets are folded and look stacked everywhere. But three are specific and important. Chin music changes. It's like I'm in a new place than before. I did awaken to the mountains, also to the calling of my name, but that was in the dream. Dream. Charlie attacked the evolution to his root? Somehow it kept falling on his house. He was talking and I heard him say he was going to get gas and burn us all down. Bees were everywhere, but sleeping or dead. My room was really crowded with junk. I'm awake now. Oh, 829, 12, 12, or 6. I'm awake now, and I will be until I see Mike. There are only a few stops before... Oregon, Portland, two hours, as long as no delays happen. I am a mountain. I am a river. I am a barren, dark tunnel for a moment. I'm snow that sits along the mountainside. I'm wet streets, wet cars, wet. Maybe I will take a nap. There's a note to sell. May if I ever do travel with kids, may I never be as annoying as the dad here on this train. The baby talking must be what keeps us dumb for so many years. Oh, the baby talking, as in, boo 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 ga 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 da ba 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 ba. A parent talking like that, not the kid. Must be what keeps us dumb for so many years of our lives. Anyway, yeah, I should try to sleep. Two hours seems to be forever with this fucking guy. He never shuts up and he is arguing on whatever with two other kids over and over and over and over. I'm going to go tell dad. And this is from the adult. Oh, shit. Simply because the kid said it once. Oh, so he's mocking. I'm going to go tell dad. I'm going to go tell dad. I'm going to go tell dad. Man. He's lucky I was dualities at that point and not straight up killer junkie Trav because I might have just slammed his head off the fucking window. Oh, but the kids. Parents must turn retarded to match their children's IQ. He is a baby, so he's all noises. 9.09 <laughs> a.m. No chance for rest. The children are restless and they know it won't be long now. I spoke with mom a little while ago and she was shopping for jewelry. I should get her something for Christmas. I should have not done so much dope. I just can't believe my life sometimes. On my right are the mountains of Washington and on or, and on the right? He, he meant left one of them, is the Columbian River separating Oregon from Washington. Won't be long now. Yeah, I put right on both of them. One of them is clearly left. <laughs> I am a neighborhood full of beautiful houses. I am a well-kept lawn. Expensive cars. I am swampy, a swampy pond alongside the wet road. 9.51 a.m. I am officially in Oregon State. 5.50 p.m. I'm so fucking high. 12.23 <laughs> a.m., 12.13. I had... Uh, oh, 06. 12.13, oh, 06. I had an awesome time my first day back. We hung out with Rudy, and we saw Tyler's band. It's so fucking crazy being back here. I need to get my shit together soon, though. I can't spend money like I did last night can't go out to eat every night I gotta get food stamps or a fucking job 11.51 my dreams never came back 
after I started smoking pot. So them dreams were, yeah, because I quit smoking for three days on the train. I may start to use this as a dream journal. Perhaps analyzing my dream, my days, is my problem. Okay, that's a nice segue, because holy shit, I, that must have been when I started keeping this shit. Which is just all dreams, dude. This whole fucking, all of this, these are all dreams. Like, dude, you, know, you don't even, you don't even know. You have no fucking idea. Shit, I keep reading dreams. They're weird, though, man. I'm gonna write, like, that's what a couple of my books are, fucking. Oh, that's weird. It said dreams are. Dreams pour out mystery and images with no thought, no shackles of linear movements, constricting eternity, defining not. Dreams pour out of me, bringing me into some divine mystery. I am enveloped, consumed, cursed with these visions. My ignorant, silly mind seeks meaning, truth, wisdom. Dreams pour out meaning through confusion, truth with lies, wisdom and sin. Still, every morning I attempt to capture my dreams with this pen. Inside, outside, upside down. Unity and contradictions. That's what I have found. Dreams pour out the fountainhead and wash through my memory. I have had a dream, but now that dream has gone from me. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, yeah. I have all this shit. And, you know, since I don't, like, you know, have anybody to, like, <laughs> give me money to just, you know, I'm not crawly again. You can only live the crawly life one time where you can fund your own fucking books and be like, here, I just so happen to have my words available for you. If you want to give me some of your money, you can have one of these killer books. I mean, it's clearly the, the, uh, the, the way to do it, like, that's how you do it, but, growing up, like, in the 90s, like, I was born in 84, but growing up in the 90s, it was just like, I don't know, and that's the other thing, if, if you made it this far, you, you might as well know that the way that I see the world is like just like this uh, except for more and more and more of them going up and up and up so as far as I'm concerned we're in a a cycle of cycles that repeats itself and its ultimate mission is to grow but that's not the ultimate outcome of every uh, event it, it all events lead to the overall growth but some of those events are like destruction of things um, let's just start at the beginning um, that's the easiest way for me to even do this. Book of lies, maybe. Question first. What's the question? Just the question mark, right? What happens when it's answered? <gasps> exclamation. So, exclamation. Oh, here it is. So, we begin all great things. A bit of bullshit. But mainly, forethought. In its varied forms. The forethought before all thought is question one state or one. Okay. All thought is disease of mind. The, it, the mind is uneasy, it produces thoughts. Just like if a muscle is sore, it aches. Okay? Our nervous system has responses to pain or discomfort so in your pure self you don't think you are just doing your will that's what do what that will means it requires no thought 
for because forethought has already decided the will by questioning wait what am i oh i am this and it's not just you are not just your body your body is the measuring stick which all things are then discerned to you okay so you're a sacred mirror and yes we all we all have basic building blocks that make us all the same but the things that make you unique the the cards that are pulled out of the deck that make you you is not just a veil or a lens for you to see the world it is also a function of your self um, as the universe grows into reality these things are connected to me but in reality you see them as separate and they're okay now as sentience happens it's like one begins to question whether one is separate from the things that don't seem sentient or that seem separate okay but this is illusion okay it's like uh, the blanket in Huckabees everything's the blanket there's nothing but the blanket but we do this dividing of the deck and the work um, because we have set forth a paradox of reality separate from God, basically. Um, whatever you want to call God or enlightenment. We, it is the willful ignorance that has led to our situation and the reason we take on willful ignorance is to play the game set forth in this reality the reason survival games are so popular on like in gaming in general is because that's the game we have been playing as a species since the dawn of time it is only now for the past four or five hundred years maybe more but in the last 200 years it's undeniable that fewer and fewer people play the survival game like as life like you survive as a byproduct of your work or your family or your um just a culture that basically takes care of everyone because there is so much being produced for the masses that if someone isn't buying it see this is the problem with money like if everybody decided not to buy stuff what what does that do to the people that make it see we saw what it happened this year they threw the food away so now we know what they'll do they they are wholly concerned with money but that is an unsustainable reality to exist in and we're all in this together okay and not just like oh we got to get along even though i hate your guts it's like no i made it so i would hate your guts so it's not easy to do like the only thing worth doing is the one thing you cannot do like i need to be sober therefore i'm a drug addict but we drug addicts are the last of a fucking dying breed okay it's a it's an ancient culture that has used drugs for eons okay to 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 expand our consciousness all right but we we've gotten to the point where how far out is it worth going for the physical body okay like once you stop okay humans keep wanting to say we're separate from animal life that we have transcended the animal and we are man mankind separate from animal separate from 
vegetable separate from mineral. Okay, these are just lines on the tree, man. The one body is the one body. And in a perfect time and space continuum, all would exist in harmony together. But for now, until all exist in perfect harmony, our perception of them is fractured. Okay. That's what's being, that's what I talked about when you're being stuck in a Sephiroth. That even, no matter how much you travel the tree, you can't see what I'm talking about, okay? You can only have a relationship to it via the ideas that are wholly surrounded by certain topics. Or, see, I want to say idea gods here, and I know people don't like that term because ideas aren't gods, but this is... The, this these are new things I'm not talking about ideas are gods I'm talking about the oldest ideas that survive and dominate the minds of the living okay IDGs these are ego not just ego the, the, these are ideas that affect everybody and they are I call them gods only in relation to the tree of life okay and only in relation and only for the purpose of me wanting to name them out loud so that you, when somebody has these I when somebody comes up with these ideas that they know that they are being possessed by um, something that isn't them okay like every idea like I, okay, it is you but these ideas are versions of you. Versions of us. Um, whether you want to talk spirit, idea, pneuma, flesh. It, these are layers of a, of, a, of a body. And they all work together. Okay? Now the, the reason we do this is debatable, apparently. But I would venture that it's to make a perfect society to forever reincarnate into. Over and over and over and over and over again. You come back to a perfect world that's just banging. And at that point, you could actually um, start working on... Well, never mind. So, working on... A perfect society or a perfect world. What does that even fucking entail? You know, well, apparently that's a fucking contentious idea too, because during this fucking election, uh, I feel, I swear to God, I feel like this is 2001 on acid or 2000 on acid because I've been we've been here before. Like, we've done this shit. We've argued these arguments. Like, we've seen controlled opposition to get very left-wing people to go very right. And that is very much a thing that's happening right now. Uh, if you can't see... Like, this is what I was talking about in one of my videos where like I'm agreeing with Fox News on more than... On, on more than just, yeah, both sides are right. It's that that the left is being made to look like like liberals are being made to look like assholes, okay? And it's theory and practice being abused, okay? People have sat in schools for years and years theorizing on a perfect society, okay? A perfect way to do things and have not lived a second of life, okay? If you think that there's a safe space in the world, then then you're not ready. Like the one you have to understand that anyone of any like of any merit to themselves 
in the, in the situations that people are put in these days, you are to strike hard and low and end it. Like, there should not be a fucking debate. There should be no why and because dis discussion. There is clearly right answers to nearly all of the questions being asked. If you don't like the answers, shut the fuck up. Like, stop asking questions you don't like to hear the answers to. Like, trigger? I'm triggered? What? Like, okay. Like, I seriously, guys. This, the, the, this past four years, uh, I've been pretty fucking quiet about a lot of things. Everything. I've been quiet about everything. I've watched you guys for fucking years just fucking bicker and shit. And then I've watched other groups really forge a great path. Good job, guys. Um, But I feel like it's a minority of people that are willing to make real sacrifices for change. And I fucking, I know from experience, it is not easy to get over your own shit to do greater good mentality. But we're living in a society that is based around the lesser evil Okay. Like, I'm expected to vote for Joe fucking Biden and Kamala Harris because they aren't Trump. Orange man bad. Okay. I'm not this guy. Vote for me. Okay. That kind of platform is as sturdy as fucking swampland all right nobody okay here's here's my here is my thing for you guys on like serious people on the left because if anything if i'm anything i'm a fucking independent centrist because i truly believe that both parties should be in the office at the same time i don't think there should be an ultimate monarch in our country. Call me crazy, guys. I thought we fought over shit like this before. But if we can't have two guys sit in a room and work out things that can get passed on to the Senate and the House, if we can't fucking do that, if that's too fucking hard, then we need candidates that are willing to work for the people. And lefties, liberals, Bernie fucking bros. Guys, you had me. I I was I was voting this year for Bernie. But do you know you know what it is? You know what I realized it is? Controlled opposition. They get you to get on their side with Bernie, just like they did every other time. They pull him under. And before you say, poor Bernie, poor Bernie. If he wasn't a part of it, he would speak out against it instead of time after time. Let them use him as a siphon to divide left and right and then break that up again. Okay? This is classic demoralizing of your values and making you choose power structures that you normally wouldn't never fucking go for. Okay? If you think either one of these is any better than the other, then vote for the one you think should be in office. Seriously. I, I really fucking hope they do what you want them to do. But apparently the nation is severely divided up on what our leaders should do. Which to me is also a bad sign. Because there's clear problems that need dealt with. And as I was saying about the dying breed of drug addicts, the reason, okay, the dualities in me 
freaks out when I start getting on these topics because it's hard for me to talk about any one thing for very long without starting to contradict myself, but I don't know, but I was lying. It says, but I was lying. I'm sorry. It made me lose my train of thought. All these people are out to fuck with us guys. And until the silent majority, like think of all the people who don't vote this guy. This guy. None of you have ever gotten my vote. None of you. None of you. None of you. I'm sorry. But none of you have ever gotten my vote. Sorry, not sorry. I haven't found one fucking person that I wasn't afraid that I would feel guilty for later for backing. Not, I, I, there's plenty of people that I wanted to vote for because of things they wanted to do. But things that I didn't know what they wanted is what kept me from voting. And I know that's the antithesis. That's a bad, bad. That's bad, Trav. Trav, that's bad. But you gotta understand my position. Like, I feel like everything I do has a major effect on reality. So if I was to back Biden or Trump, There's just no way. There's no way this is going to be the one. I mean, it it was back during Bush. I had just turned 18. And... Like I said, it was a similar kind of feeling, except for genuine. This is a fucking... And I don't mean acid in, in the good sense. I mean, this is like a Looney Tunes. Somebody ate acid and went to... And not even ask them weird chemicals that didn't turn out right. Like, not even a good mix of something. That these cats took at a carnival show. Kind of trip. This isn't good. It's a fucking joke. And then that's where I come back around to the being... Is this serious? Is this a joke? Can you tell the difference... And do you know how to act? Do you know how to keep your shit together whenever things don't go the way you want? And apparently, a lot of us don't. A lot of us don't know what to do when the world doesn't go our ways. And I'm afraid that's because you've never had your fucking heart torn out of your chest. So, boys, 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 boys and girls, all hook up with each other, speak, call each other, whatever. Find somebody that loves you, like, for no reason. They're just like, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Go with them for a while, find all the good things in them, tell them about it, and then break their heart. Just destroy them. Okay? Because instead of a generation of kids having kids, we could actually get to a generation of adults who learn how to wait to meet the person that they're truly meant to be with. Because you children, and I don't just mean young people, I mean spiritual children, you, you new fucking dingus is from the ether you're so fucking hungry for flesh you're ready just to come back come back okay think about how making love is calling to the spirit realm and then a baby is beckoned into existence okay begotten the the energy itself is what like when I talk about sexual magic, this is what I'm talking about, is that it's an energy unlike any other, because it's the union of contrary, of the two contrary things in our reality. Not only man and female energies, but a man and female body together. You know, like, the, it is why 
that's how we have babies. It, the, uh, the Elysian Mysteries are about seeing that man and female in yourself and in all reality. And then making that a whole. That whole, you will realize, is only a piece. And that there's another half out there. The two become not one, but three. Or four or five. Many. The, the two together become many. If the cystic of Pisces joins, light is emitted. It's the womb of creation. Okay? But my, what I've been working out over the years, and it started with me and my friends. Man and female are combining to make this third pattern. Okay? It has elements of both, but together are greater than the whole. The shining triangle. And within that, those two, all other things are found. The holographic nature of the universe is concealed within the Pisisca Pisces. Do you see them both? Female? Male? Child? Right? But it's more like people are just fucking rabbits, man. And... November 5th, November 25th, 2009, 5 p.m. Time and time again, I find myself sleepwalking through my days. Either I'm drugged on love and devotion or simply drugged. There is no D of choice. D is the only choice. There is no weekend warriors on D. You're either on it or you haven't tried it. This adequately, adequately describes the grub drug culture and more so the individual on D. Most people have preferences, of course. It all comes down to preference and habit. Yet all in yet all in all the truth is beyond anecdotes. We are all canaries in the coal mine. Sirius fills my studies again, the star system. And I am picking up on more details this time around. The Anubis cell has been brought up time and time again, though only now do I see the purpose of it all. Anubis cell is the term used. Anubis cell is the term used to describe the shard, shared time space of our solar system and that of Sirius A B C. Robert Temple coined the phrase in his books. Complexity theory states it is possible for instantaneous communication within a given cell. I want so badly to work some of my ideas out and write a book, but my depression is fucking killing me. I go from sad to angry, and there is now no in-between. I've been stood up by everyone today. All things bring me down. I don't seem to belong anywhere. I tried to contact, contact MCS last week. I even spoke to her. She told me not to call. Get a clue, babe. There's nothing to talk about. No one knows how badly I hate myself. No one sees me at all. I walked around with these tombstones in my eyes. 
Last night I went to the Steelworks satellite situated just below me here at 421 South Walnut Street. This is my one satellite to the world besides friends and family, homes and vehicular modules. Reggie Freed was there. It was good to hug him. Tom keeps him in my life with their pool league. I should really start to play that fucking game. I don't play many games that aren't video games. Drank three rum and cokes, took some pills also earlier in the day. All week, really. One day I took five perks, but I think it's time I dry out and prepare to sweep out the temple. Twelve. 309. Last night I perform, performed an American prayer ceremony. It's a Morrison thing. Mojo Rod. Mr. Mojo Rosin. <laughs> uh, today. Today I can't get again and 2Ds. Oh yeah, my drug. Recording my drug tip. I hate myself for it, but I feel irresistibly drawn to them. I am in the end weak and need to adjust if I want to continue to live here. I went to Brandon's to hang out. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Too much, too real. Pill sustained my mind now that my Christmas screen is gone. Depression kills my motivation due to anything. Anything but seek more. The Lord is my light through tears, though tears blind me and fear binds me. My allegiance lies not in any one name, but in the source itself. Many faces have been worn by my Lord, and many names given all relevant to their culture. Still, this church remains my worst enemy, as it continues to enslave my family and friends, who risk their very souls in the act of believing. See, like, as I was saying, like, the, this is the last time around for some, some of us, and I haven't been able to figure out if I'm coming or going, oh, here's an insert, 4-3-2020, the tempest is and has been upon us, fire burns, waters rise, disease spreads war 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 be the change or fall with the husks 4-4-2020 four, four, to me to me fragment of the book of the law my record keeping overall my record keeping and overall work habit habits have been abysmal of late this is 4 4 2020 <laughs> let's just say 2020 was uh the beginning of all of this going through just everything i you have no fucking idea um oh my knee i broke my knee yesterday or yeah, last week Okay, anyway. Who is this? Even with the world on lockdown, I am still unable to focus on one task at a time. But hopefully that all changes soon. All these events around the world are paving the way for people to accept me for who I am. To recognize this world for what it is. The Matrix did such a good job that I am still trying to work it this all out but it's all laid down as a foundation in my head the map is nearly complete i am just having trouble naming all locations and roadways rivers etc <laughs> the map history has my back with the knowledge we have collected and engraved in the collective Part of me still rejects wealth of any kind, and so I still squander my time in a suspended poverty, one that I could perhaps overcome. 
but except as a limiting agent. The term the agency has finally hit home. It's both the organization and the will behind it, or the agency in each of us. Motivation, impulse, agency. We are taking conscious control of autopilot systems with our agency. Once aware of, we can alter processes and eventually, inevitably, alter outcomes. This is, this is why when I ever talk about an update to the matrix or the algorithm, these are properties of the agency working through us. And the reason I use these terms is because they sound cool now <laughs> is because I honestly have had enough visions to know that our possible future is very much like how the matrix was set up uh the war of the humans and the aliens or yeah aliens the humans <laughs> and the machines if you switch that around like in the animatrix and make it humans and gods so it's the gods created humans to enslave we eventually started gaining consciousness and we rose up we had a city we started gaining influence with the gods um and eventually the war broke out between humans and our creators this is the first creation of the tree the events of it and the shattering okay our first the first the tree we know of it goes on forever but we are a species that has amnesia and so what we have to work with is the records that are left behind and the oldest records are left behind this is what they say that's why i talk about legacy of cain about the winged race and the hilden and the, the, the machines and the humans okay now, the, the main thing in the Matrix is this principle of spirit uplifting matter, matter sanctifying spirit. And the way this is done is through conflict or evolution and, and struggle. Like, we're at a disharmonic stage, so everything we view is viewed as a negative nearly everything we view like there's so much dissonance that there's rarely things that aren't tainted somehow with a negative a negative to them like even the like our most powerful creating children having sex it's it's you have to maintain the relationship with like your shadow you know so that's a tough task for humanity but in the future, we're, we are going to divide. Like, the reason I say we are a dying breed is because, um, and you see this online where people talk about the, some of these programs in AI where they're talking about consciousness is starting to enter into the machine, okay? And that's what consciousness does. The more um, useful something in the material world is, to perform the the work of spirit the more spirit will use that um particular tool and for a long time it was all solar mineral and water work because with all of those forces of fire and water and um wind and earth you can create uh the universe in its infancy okay but the mold that grows on this is is the next stage so you take them same elementals and you pull them down so then there's the light and darkness and the air and the earth and the water and the fire okay and you start to work with all these and then spirit is the seventh element within all of them okay and that's kind of what 
Neo is in the Matrix. He is a physical representation of spirit at that time. Like, it's even said in the Matrix, the architect says, um, about there being different versions, the sixth version in the Matrix. That's because we are the seventh version here now. This is the seventh version of the Matrix. We are Neo, the seventh version of the one. Anyway, spirit uplifts matter. In the Matrix, its spirit is a golden hue. Anything golden is representing spirit. Okay? Then there's the green of the Matrix and the blue of Zion. Green and blue. These are just different levels of the tree. The Matrix is a higher tone of a mental area. Okay? This is lower, more physical. Expect like this, when you get this whole way down and you draw the fruit on it, the fruit of this Sephiroth touches the bottom where Malkuth sits across. And on my the great tree I drew, um, the waters at Malkuth go down. So these fruits hang right above the waters. So they're basically the most accessible to the real world. But everything in the Matrix is being flipped around, okay? So the Matrix is an illusion. The blue worlds are closer to the real world. But that one actually moves up closer to the supernovas, which is why Trinity, on the way to the machine world, sees the sun on her descent to death. Okay? She, she flies above the abyss. She sees the sun, but because of her journey, she can't sustain that level of consciousness and then dies. And then Neo goes and dies. But because spirit is one, Neo absorbs her spirit at that moment. He goes, connects to the Matrix. They enter in. And uh, the Buddha has even said, if souls are perfectly united in life, then they have the chance to reincarnate as one. Because people worry about, like, am I going to have the one I love in the next life? It's like, no, you are going to be the one you love in the next life. Like, you will all be one together. All these thoughts in your head, these are all people you loved before. Like, yeah, you hate the people you love. That's why some of these thoughts are bad. And... It's, it's, that's another reason where the idea of God thing comes from because I view each idea as the last remaining bit of a person or um, something in the collective unconscious that's just speaking up, you know, spirits, people, you know, we call them, but all people, all spirit, all plants, all mineral, all sun, all dark, it's all one thing, okay? It's spirit uplifting matter and creating veils upon veils upon veils. So, the upgrade to the Matrix is Neo's death. But what happens before that? Well, Spirit, through the agency of Neo, sets out Smith, a Smith upon the world. Just like God in the Bible, a Smith is set upon the world to shatter the fucking vessels, guys, okay, you see, and that's exactly what happens to them at the end, they all shatter with light, it is the great shattering, okay, but in order to do that, all must become one, and in a dissonant reality, all do not become one in a unified way, all become one in a dissonant way chaotic the unity is found in the chaos the chaos is bound by the unity the iron empire has never ended every time you defeat a section of the empire you become that section of the machine now this seems dire okay but like neo in the matrix we have ourselves. And if you think that's not enough, don't worry. Barbelleth is here for you. Just waiting for you to lose all hope and give up. You know, like it. You're a baby in the womb being fed. Okay? Just don't don't forget to breathe. You know? 
Oh shit. It's all fire and brimstone, baby. I got my brand new pistol, baby. Bought a hot shot gap from a North End Guinea. What do you know? Ain't got a penny. I'm dropping bombs from above to cut you all down to size. Cause I'm hip to the fools and I'm hip to the rise. I'm trying to decide who lives and who dies. Right in front of your eyes, it's time to get up. I'm trying to decide who lives and who dies. Now walk at the line, it's time to get up. I'm trying to decide who lives and who dies. Fuck, what do you know? Hand it up with your ice, cause you ain't got a penny. Dropping bombs from above to cut you all down to size. Here's a hip to the fall and a hip to the rise. Me is fucked up. I can't dance. I can just, I can just shake it a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all right. I don't want to look like I'm trying to be a clown of a clown, but I'm just made up of you guys, you know? Hell, if you weren't watching, I'd probably just disappear.